Hello guys, it is me, Happy Sayak, and welcome back to Last on Earth Survival. So today we're doing eight raids in one day. In the previous video, we've done seven raids, so why not do eight? And if you want to see 10 raids, smash that like button on the video. Let's try to hit 3,500 likes. Now I have amazing news. We're going to kick these raids off from an amazing raid. This is going to be like... Probably even 10 out of 10 raid. So let's use one C4 over here. Then I have to use another C4 on this wall. And then I'll have to use one extra C4 just for this raid. Also, we could bring this generator back to the base. But as you already know, sometimes there is an event in the sewers where you have to pick up a generator. So I'm not going to bring more generators to the base. Oh, also, this guy has a chopper. I didn't even know that. So let's go. Let's load his chopper. And inside of the chopper, we're going to get a Glock. <laughs> That's not, I don't think I've ever gotten any guns in inside a chopper is all right that's a great start and then i have to place one extra c4 there okay so that's another glock and how do i place another c4 please tell me i'm placing it in the right direction oh another c4 required so i took a c4 from my inbox let's plop it here and i just want to show you what kind of loot we're going to get from this base and i think another wave of zamzams is going to spawn right now yes indeed maybe even two of them are going to spawn at the oh no not two the second wave usually spawns at around like 72 73 noise or something i don't even know where i'm going to drop all the loot here so the first chest is going to have this amount of swat sets and i honestly don't know how i'm going to fit all of them in the base so i'm going to fit two swat sets in my chopper and this guy has lots of spike traps so i probably could die and spawn back at the base to get like two extra swat sets from that chopper but truth to be told as i said i don't know where i'm gonna fit them in the base i already have like two full trunks of armor i'm gonna probably delete some useless armor such as like that tactical armor or whatever because there's no way be, I'll be able to fit all of these SWAT sets. And that's not it. Some of these chests, like probably chests over here. I just want to show you some other epic stuff. Look at this. There's one more chest. Oh, it only has leather. Then probably this chest over here. Like there's, there's still two extra chests with lots of armor. Here I go. One chest with full of SWAT sets and there's one extra chest here as well. Look at this. I'm just going to chop it down and I'm going to show it for you. Look at this. Another chest full of SWAT armor. I'm going to probably take a stack of first aid kits. I mean, 14 first aid kits. Yeah, that's better than any SWAT piece of armor. I'm also going to drop my broken Glock here. So here goes. This is the loot that I'm bringing with me. I do know that some of you are screaming right now. Delete those hatchets! But in my scenario, those hatchets are a bit more worth it than those SWAT sets. So this raid gets IX approval. I love that raid. So now, welcome to the raid number two. And I realized that in the previous previous raid, I forgot to exchange my tactical armor for the SWAT armor, and I apologize about that. I apologize for having a small brain. But now, talking about this raid, I think I can plop a C4 somewhere over there, except that... Oh, no, zombies aren't gonna come from that place. So, here, I'm gonna plop a C4 right over here. And this base is going to have how many chests? Only two chests? Only two stupid chests? Okay, so I'm gonna destroy one of those chests, then I'm gonna skedaddle outside real, real quick. Because probably zombies are gonna spawn and they'll start making noise on that trap. Yeah, look at this. But just as always, don't judge a book by its cover. Who knows, maybe we're gonna get lots of loot in those two chests. Because I usually don't do lots of research on these kind of easy bases where I have to use only one C4. So that's it. Zombies aren't gonna spawn inside of this chest. We're gonna get an M16. That's alright. We can get here a steel bar. And more armor. Can I take it with me? I mean, I'd love to take it. I don't want to get back home empty-handed. I'll probably take that bauxite. I'll take the electronic circuit and let's check out the chest here and only water. Okay, so I can't even go past that ATV and apparently that other room here is just full metal room. Well, I'll probably bring this tactical armor back to the base. But where I'm gonna put it, I have no idea. <laughs> That's just a mystery to me. Yeah, I also took a little bit of iron and thick cloth. So in my opinion, this wasn't a bad base, but it still does not get Sayak's approval. So welcome guys to the raid number three. And you know what? There are still five more raids left. It's even crazy to say that. Okay, so let's plop one more C4 over here. And while it's exploding, I think I'll go back to my chopper to drop that other C4 because I don't even know I brought two C4s as this raid requires only one C4. This base actually does have one extra room where I could get a few extra chests. Like here, I can plop one C4 and I'll be able to get two extra chests, but those two chests are gonna be completely empty. So we are not wasting that one more C4. I'll definitely take a stack of water with me as I don't have lots of water at the base. Even though I do have that hand pump so we can have as much water as we want, but I don't have lots of empty bottles as I use most of my water to craft that cement. But now let's start opening up the chest. Okay, so here we're gonna get steel, electronic circuits, aluminum plates engine parts and some wrenches let's take that goop i mean this base has a decent amount of chests for 1c4 i think that's all right 
Let's eat a little bit of beans. Let's take one bandage. I mean, that guy had also extra six water or so bottle, but I'm not taking that. Just kind of goop. I mean, so far it's just goop as well. Gonna eat that raw turkey. Probably another wave of zombies is gonna spawn like right now as soon as I chop down this. Just Ooh, here we're gonna get a couple of guts and another uh, SWAT set. I don't even know how we're gonna bring it back to the base. I literally don't have any more space. I started storing my armor in other chests. So my base becomes more and more messy now and I do not like it. I might as well probably get rid of this armor and put a SWAT armor. Probably that's what I'm gonna do. So inside of this chest, we're gonna get basically nothing. That doesn't matter. Bunch of goop. So I'm gonna take these weapons. As I said, I'm probably gonna equip this SWAT armor. And uh, wait, is that it? There's only one extra chest left. Okay, so let's open up the last chest in this base. And let's see, are we gonna get 1,000 steel? And <laughs> nothing! Are you kidding me? I legit expected something. I mean, in this base, we've gotten five guns, one SWAT set. It's still probably not worth it, but you know what? This base gets our approval. So welcome, guys, to the raid number four. So we are 50% done. And I've done, like, five-second research on this base, so all I know is that I have to plop a C4 over here. Just as always, I'm gonna run back to my chopper just to drop that other C4 in my chopper to not waste that second C4 because every time I go for a raid, I take two C4s just in case. So here, I'm gonna drop one C4 in this chopper. So this base is gonna have three chests. This is the typical three by three base, except this guy has his CB radio assembled. Usually they don't even have that CB radio. Okay, so here I'm gonna get a Glock. Little bit of this goo, I guess that's fine. Not a lot of loot, but so far at least that chest wasn't empty. So let's deal with this floater bloater, sayonara. And I don't think there's anything else I could take from this chest. Oh, there's a stack of duct tape. Let's take that stack of duct tape and let's open up the two remaining chests. So inside of our second chest, we're gonna get... Eh, I wanted to say a little bit of gasoline, but that's literally only one gasoline. I probably used more gasoline just to get to this base. <laughs> So let's get that. I'll probably take this broken hatchet. Even though I know what? I'm not bringing that broken hatchet. I'm not stupid. I don't care about that broken hatchet. There's nothing else here. And let's jump down the last chest. Please tell me something good. Please. I mean, first aid kits and healing items. That's good. You know what? That That's actually all right. That's pretty decent. Like for such a small base, we didn't get a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it's a bad base personally. I think it's an okay base, but this base does not get Sarex approval just because the base is really lame. If it had more chests, if it didn't look just like that typical three by three, I think it would have been more fun. But in my opinion, loot isn't that bad. Like stack of first aid kits, stack of bandages is meh. It's fine. So welcome, guys, to the raid number five. I think it's raid number five because we've just done raid number four. Is it raid number six? Nah, this has to be raid number five. So yeah, this guy doesn't have a lot in his chopper besides a little bit of gasoline. Except I didn't take any empty bottles and my chopper is full anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's forget about that gasoline. Not that big of a deal, those two broken glocks. We don't care about it. All I know is that I can plop a C4 somewhere over here, and that's pretty much it. I have no idea what kind of loot we're gonna get here, so me and you are gonna figure that out right now. All I know is that this guy's gonna have lots of chests, and that's it. I don't even know what we're gonna get in that another room. I don't think we're gonna get anything significant, because look at this. This guy has here a bunch of and a bunch of chests, so why would you have any significant stuff in that other room. So here we're already gonna get three guns. That's just beautiful. I might start doing some research when I hit a bit more noise. Oh no, I have another C4 here. Yes, yes, as soon as I chop it down, I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna get a katana, a red ticket, and I'm gonna put back another <laughs> C4 in my chopper. Again, we might open up that another room. I don't know, we'll, I'll think about it. We'll see how much noise I'll have. But right now, let's just open up these chests. So inside of the third chest, we're gonna get lots of paint. That's epic. Do I need all of that paint? I think I need black paint. I need this and red paint. Well, I took the paint that I need and the rest is kind of whatever. I don't need anything else. There's one white paint. I don't really need it. We have like maybe 50, maybe 100 white paint, maybe a bit more from the previous raids so whatever okay so we're gonna chop down one more chest and then we'll deal with the second wave of zombies something tells me i'm not gonna be able to open up all of these chests before the big one spawns so i'll probably have to do some more research on this base but we'll see i'll do the research at the very very end i actually like getting surprised and here we're gonna get some more SWAT sets, I guess that's cool we also can get the snorkel mask which i'll take just as a trophy that that's it as uh, those snorkel masks are kind of useless. I think we already have like maybe five snorkel masks at the base. Nothing inside of this chest. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this chest. 
I'm gonna deal with another wave of zombies. Ooh, that's good. First aid kits and bandages. So yeah, let's do some more research on the base. Well, I've spent five minutes. I didn't really see lots of stuff on this base. All I know is that if I'm gonna chop this chest down, I should get lots of and lots of turret parts. And you could recycle those turret parts for steel. So probably I'm gonna bring them. That's already a lot of loot. Like that's honestly already a lot of loot. And I don't know how I'm gonna bring that to the base. But I'm gonna do my best to open up all of the chests just to show you what kind of loot this base has. Because I'm pretty sure you're interested. And here we're gonna get a couple of broken glocks. Do I really take them with me? I mean, they're broken glocks. Who cares about that stuff, right? We spit on it. We legit spit on it. Okay, so I filled up my chest just like this that well here go i filled up my chopper and now let's get these third parts i'll do my best to recycle all of them for steel i'm really sure how much steel you can get from a stack of third parts but even if i'm gonna get one steel here i think that's fine one steel bar is already good enough that's better than nothing and somewhere here yeah we need to bring more of that stuff the bandage is always good let's get rid of that one red ticket we don't kind of care about it i'll probably also get rid of this katana and you know what let's start opening up other chests yeah i'll open up this chest and then i'll probably damage the rest of the chests and we'll see what we'll get here nothing useful just two bricks so i'm gonna damage all of these chests now two hits to this chest two hits over here i doubt that i'll be able to open up all of these chests before the big one spawns something tells me that the greed is gonna kill me here but hey, whatever's gonna happen whatever's gonna happen and two hits to this chest boom so i can heal up and this guy had somewhere SWAT sets, correct? I can exchange it for a bit better SWAT set. Here, go. Let's equip this SWAT set and let's start opening it up, baby. Goop. I mean, some oak, but that's not, doesn't matter. I don't care about it. Goop. Uh, here, some stones. Here, we're gonna get a little bit of steel. That's a pretty alright chest. And a little bit of iron. I'd love to get it. Here, go. Heal, heal up, smack! I'm dead. I heal up at the last second. Woo! 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 My guy didn't heal up and the animation started, so I thought that's it, I'm dead. Also, you cannot troll the big one inside of that dog thingy anymore. I I think, yeah, I'm gonna try to open up the rest of the chests. The trick to not dying there while you're spam- while you're opening up the chest is to heal up before you do some sort of an animation. Okay, so let's go over here. Nothing. I mean, a little bit of gasoline. Let's heal up. Let's heal up and somewhere here, another steal. I didn't take everything, but I'm too scared and I'm a wuss. So this base gets IX approval. Really fun raid and plus he had another chest over there, but probably it was just full of goop. I don't have lots of first aid kit and it's not really worth it to spam those first aid kits to get like something else from that base I've taken. The best stuff probably possible. So yeah, that was a pretty nice base. So welcome guys to the raid number six. And from the research that I've done, this is going to be another insane raid. Somebody would even call it another 10 out of 10 raid. Even me, I would probably call this raid 10 out of 10 but whatever let's stop talking about the ratings of the raid and let's plop my first c4 i can even place it somewhere here on the door please tell me this is the same base that i've seen this might be a bit different base this might be a bit different base please tell me it's the same yeah it is the same base Oof. It is the same base. It seemed a bit bigger on the video there. Because, yeah, for those who didn't know how to do research, go on YouTube, type LDE raid player 1234 or whatever base that you're raiding. Let's say if you're raiding named... Let's say if you're raiding a base named John, then type LDE raid John. And also, there's a lot of people who are asking, Hey, Psych, how do I raid? I raided all the bases on my map. I don't see them. So in order to raid, you have to be level 150. And after you hit level 150, go on your radio, turn that knob, and there you will find raiders. Then you complete a few tasks and... And boom, then you do raids. So inside of this first chest, we're gonna get goop, but it doesn't matter. All of these chests are gonna be completely empty, except four or three of these chests. I'm gonna show for you. You need to see these chests. Let's open this up and let's open up another chest. I could probably open up other chests just for your sakes, right? But I promise you, all of these chests are goop. Like seriously, the rest of these chests here are completely empty. There's nothing inside of them. So I don't really want to waste my level 2 hatchets. I'll probably just waste my level 1 hatchets just to show for you that those chests are empty. But before that, let's open up our good, good chest. So here we're going to get... Look at all of these guns, dude. Look at all of these guns. That's just going to be sick. Here we're going to get uh, another stack of turret parts. That's appreciated. Anything else? Nope, that's just goop. And here we're going to get even more SWAT sets. Like, how on earth am I going to bring all of that to the base? I don't know. Probably I'm not even going to bring it because there's no way I'll be able to store it at the base. I don't have space for it. I don't have space for more armor. And here we're going to get first aid because I even forgot about it, dude. This is such a great raid. So I'm going to fill up my chopper with a few weapons. And I'm going to take the rest of the first aid kits. 
And just to prove for you, look at this. I'm gonna open up a couple of extra trunks. And they're gonna be empty. Like, there's nothing inside of these trunks. You might find maybe, like, some sort of a hat or whatever, but... Everything is just goop. I don't want to fight another wave of zombies. So I'm not going to open up the rest of the chest, but they're empty. I'm going to take a new SWAT armor. And I will also take another SWAT armor in my inventory. And I do know that I could get rid of these level 1 hatchets, but I'm not even going to be able to store this SWAT armor in my base. So what's the point of another SWAT armor? So this raid gets IX approval. Amazing raid. Welcome to the raid number 7. Wait, except where's the base? <laughs> I don't see the base. Okay, so the base is over here. Is it the base? Wait. Wait, is this the base? Well, yes, indeed. That seems like that's the base. All right. Well, I'll probably chop down a wall over here. Oh, and that's it. We are inside of the base. Okay. So this dude is going to have a couple of chests. So let's start opening them up. I didn't do any research on this base. I mean, I've done a three second research. I saw that I don't require any C force and that was enough for me. We can get grass. Definitely not bringing that go back to the base. Probably if you have a sewing table working all the time, then you could probably get pieces of cloth with that grass and then you'd get some bandages so that's something i mean it's still not a bad raid if you don't have a base filled with goop then this isn't a bad raid you get grass <laughs> i mean grass is better than nothing plus you don't even have to waste your c force on this raid so i mean it's probably not that bad but this isn't for us i'm not gonna take that grass i don't have space for it Nothing inside of this chest. I also should probably start fighting these zombies as the game is gonna start lagging really soon. Here we're gonna get a little bit of thick cloth. Let's take that. Probably gonna take some stones, stack of bolts, whatever. Let's take two stacks of bolts, a little bit of iron. I'm gonna take those nails. And I'm trying to go closer to the top just so that other zombies clump closer to me. So that this way I'll be able to open up that chest and not even fight them. That would be a perfect raid then. Nothing here. I'll probably have to drop some stuff because I'm not going to be able to go to my chopper as I really don't want to fight these zombies just for these goop chests. I'd rather save my glocks. Here inside of this chest, we're going to get some first aid kits. All right. I'm going to get rid of these six batteries. Here we go. I took this. And wait, is that it? Wait, is that another chest? Yes, definitely. Here we go. We have another chest over here. Let's open this chest up. Ooh, we can get pieces of cloth to craft more bandages. That's beautiful. Not gonna craft bandages here as Wave of Zombies is obviously going to spawn. I'm gonna get rid of this hatchet. So I'm gonna do a couple of hits to this chest. I'm gonna do one, two hits to this chest. And then I'm gonna try to lure all of the zombies here in this corner. Then I'll open up that chest real quick. And uh, what I'm gonna get rid of, I'll probably eat some carrot stews. And in case something happens, I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff. Here, I'm gonna get rid of all of this goop on the right side. So let's try to go real quick. Let's try to open this up and nothing there useful, nothing useful. So let's try to skedaddle from this base. That's, there's a lot of zombies, three wave of zombies. Well, you know what? This base gets IX approval. I didn't have to waste a single shot for it. I didn't have to waste any C force for this base, even though it's kind of bad. It's kind of weird. Sometimes the base is good and I'm like, no, nah, it doesn't get IX approval. And sometimes I say that the base is bad, but it gets IX approval. As I told you, IX approval is unstable. So welcome guys to the raid number eight. I think this is raid number eight. Hopefully I still know how to count to eight, but let's use a couple of hatchets here. I think we'll require to use uh, two level two hatchets and then we're gonna be able to get inside of the base just as usual. I don't know what kind of loot we're gonna get here. So let's open it up. Okay, so this base is gonna have only three chests. All right. That's not that great. Maybe it has more chests up the top. Nope, nothing there. Uh, here we're gonna get some tickets. I'll take that. I mean, stack of first eight kits. Even though the base looks kind of good, but I'll always take a stack of first aid kits. It's not that bad so far. I mean, the first chest one, we've already gotten uh, a lot better stuff than in some of the other raids I've done in the past. So here we're gonna get some thick cloth, copper, stack of batteries, stack of turret parts, this, and an air filter. And a little bit of other goop. Oh, wow, the base just got much better. I'm also gonna take a stack of black paint because I don't think I have lots of black paint at the base. So even though there were only three chests, but we already got lots of great stuff. Ooh, some iron. This was a nice base. This was a nice base. I'm probably gonna run to my chopper to drop some items. And this is so weird, probably. Nah, I don't think this is the best, smallest base that I've ever raided, but it's definitely up there. We've gotten here lots of gasoline. We've gotten a few coupons, which I'm not really excited about as I already have like hundreds or maybe even thousands of them at the base. It's not like I'll be able to open them up, but at least something, I guess. So let's get the rest of the iron. A little bit of planks, stack of pieces of cloth, duct tapes. 
And here we go. Let's open up the last chest and please tell me something good. Here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is seriously probably the best garbage looking base I've ever done. I have ever raided. Like, I can't believe it, dude. Have you ever raided a goop base like this that has so much great loot? Like, it would have gotten Cyrex's approval regardless. But we are gonna get some guns. Are you kidding me? Now I have to make space for weapons. This is epic. And that's it. There's nothing else I can take. I mean, pieces of cloth, whatever. I don't care about it. I need that water. I need everything else. So there's nothing else inside of these chests that I would love to take. I mean, there's another stack of black paint I saw there, but doesn't matter. So this base gets IX approval. A really awesome base considering how garbage it looks like. So you thought this was over? Welcome to a bonus raid. So this is supposed to be raid number nine. And from the research that I've done, I should place a C4 somewhere here. And this way I'll be able to access all of the chests right here. Guy, place the C4 properly. So if I'm gonna destroy this level two wall, you know what? I'm gonna show for you what's gonna happen. We can definitely allow that. We can definitely allow ourselves to do that. So here we go. The first wave of Zamzams is sleeping here. We're gonna get a little bit of planks, some wood, some iron. So yeah, hopefully you're enjoying these raids. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos or live streams that we are doing here pretty regularly. So inside of this chest, we're gonna get some electronic circuits. Eh, more paint. I'll probably take it. I'll probably take it. It doesn't really seem like... This base is gonna have lots of great stuff, so here we can get some wood. I mean, it's fine, but uh, compared to all the raids that we've done today, this might be one of the worst raids so far. Because the wood is alright, but it's not something amazing. I'd probably take planks, but wood is just me. We can get a little bit of oak planks, I don't need them. We'll take stack of bauxite, a little bit of aluminum, stack of batteries. Yeah, let's take them, but before this, let's open up another chest. I'm kind of lazy to run to my chopper, but probably we'll have to do this because here we've gotten some oak planks, another stack of duct tape. Wait, did I get any duct tape? Yeah, I know, only five duct tape. I thought we've got an entire stack of duct tape. So I thought we'll have two stacks of duct tapes from this base, but nope, only one. So I'm gonna drop some stuff inside of the chopper. Probably I'm also gonna get rid of that wood depending on what else. I'll find in that base. So let's get back here and let's get that duct tape. I'm probably gonna get rid of those five duct tapes. Don't want to bring that goop. I mean, you know what? Let's bring it. Let's take some rubber. I don't want to bring those rubber parts. And whatever, let's take the rubber parts too. Even though we already have like probably hundreds of those rubber parts at the base. Here we got some... Ooh, we're gonna get some hatchets. I like that. I like getting hatchets. I won't have to craft them myself. That's why I'm gonna get rid of... Oh no, another stack of duct tapes. Oh yeah, let's fill it up. We're gonna get more duct tapes. And yeah, I'm gonna get rid of some wood just to break those iron bars to bring some thick cloth. I'm also gonna get rid of stack of wood for four wrenches. Then I'm gonna take more bandages. And I don't really wanna waste any level two hatchets, but hey, I'm just gonna show it for you. Let's open it up. Probably third wave of zombies is gonna spawn, but hey, there's nothing inside of that base there. It's just, it's just empty. So yeah, I'm skedaddling here. Don't want to fight them. So this base, wait, does it get Sykes approval? You know what? Whatever. This base gets Sykes approval because it's a bonus raid. <laughs> it obviously gets Sykes approval. Say so, hey, we've put lots of zombies to sleep. We've put lots of bases to sleep and you can go to sleep yourself by getting this epic go to sleep mug. You can also get a go to sleep shirt or a go to sleep hoodie. Link is down in the description. Huge thanks to all of those who've already gotten Sykes merch. Thank you for supporting the channel. So I highly suggest you checking out my Resident Evil 8 let's player click on the second card and you'll go to my ross let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep